Hello again, um, it's Brian here from Excel Dashboard Widgets. We've had a post on the forum, Traffic Light Help... Uh, no, I can't even read. Uh, traffic Light Widget, please help. I'd like to reorder the traffic light colours with red at the bottom and yellow and then finally green on the top. Um, how do I do this? Uh, need some help urgently. So, um, as always, it's... Um, you know, I'm finding it's, it's much easier to actually show uh, to show you how to, um, to, to to do this with a video rather than to try and explain it um, with lots of text. Um, a picture says a thousand words, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two things. Um, so here's the, uh, here's the traffic light widget. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set that up um, in a new workbook and then when, once that's done um, we'll just reorder the colors um, and um, that should help you out and, 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 and get you going, anyone. So, um, so let's do that right now. Let's open up a new workbook. So I'm going to file, new, create. Um, as I've explained in a number of other videos and is on the bottom of the, uh, of the unlocked Excel dashboard widget spreadsheet, um, how to design a dashboard. Um, point number six, it's always good to set up your your dashboard logic um, in three layers. So a layer that has all the graphics, um, a layer that has the configuration data, the numbers, um, and then another layer that has the, 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 the calculations. So to try and separate the, the, the nice presentation from the... the, uh, the stuff behind the curtain. Um, so let's do that Let's do that right now. Um, so let's copy this widget. I always grab it on the on the edge. I'm just grabbing the um, the, the the border. Um, as I've said many times, the 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 widgets are nothing special. They they're, they're just groups of um, of Excel objects, and I'll explain to you um, how they work. So I'm going to go Control C to copy. I'm going to go in my new workbook. I'm going to paste that into um, cell B2. Um, and there it is. Um, now, uh, as I've explained in, in previous videos, all of these values um, that we have at the moment, if I, if I click on something, for example, I'll click on this um, this uh, this first traffic light, it's still linked across to the the the, the unlocked version of the um, of the of the dashboard uh, file. So it's actually linked to a completely different um, um, uh, file. Um, so what we need to do is to link it into this new uh, workbook that we're setting up. And the way we do that is, I'm going to renumber my tabs first of all. I'm going to call this my dashboard. I'm going to call the second one um, my configuration page or tab. And the last one is my calculations page or tab. So let's let's copy the configuration data across. So this is the true con configuration data here. Um, I'm going to select it. Control C. Um, I'm going to stick it in B2 on the My Configuration page, um, and I'm just going to neaten that up a little bit. Okay, um, and. Okay, let's just talk a little bit about this widget, what it's trying to do. Um, it's basically, um, how I've set it up, uh, at the moment it's in, it just says New York, California, Florida and Texas. Um, and the, the weekly sales versus the target, we, we have um, two red lights sh showing um, you know, there's something wrong, maybe we're behind. Um, Florida's looking good and Texas is... is, is Looking sketchy. Um, now, on the configuration page, we've set, um, you know, what defines um, whether something's going well, what defines whether something needs attention, and you know, what what brings up a red, a red, uh, a red warning, um, and these cutoff values, um, where it changes from from green to yellow, and then yellow to red. Um, have been defined here. At the moment I've got them set as 70, um, and that's weekly sales, it could be 70,000, it could be 70 units, um, it could be whatever, um, and then I get it at 90, so um, just just explains a little bit um, the, the, the logic behind those. 
Um, I'm going to copy the calculations across now, um, and then I'll explain to you in a little bit more depth um, just how it works. So this, on the calculations page, um, these are all the calculations uh, for the widgets. Um, these are the calculations for the um, for, for the traffic lights. So I'm just I'm highlighting it. Control C to copy. Um, Control V to paste. Just neaten that up a bit. Um, there we go. Now there's 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 two steps now. Um, it says step one: link the yellow cells to your my configuration page. Okay. So there's four traffic lights and there's four values: value one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to select um, this yellow box here. As you can see, it's still linked to a completely separate file. Um, I'm going to delete that, press equals, go to the My Configuration page, um, and then we want the value for the first traffic light. I'm selecting the blue box, hit enter. So there we have the first value 58. I'm going to do exactly the same for the second one. Select it, equals, My Configuration page, second one, return. Same for the third one, equals, and the same for the fourth one, equals, that's the fourth one. Um, now the next two are these, these cutoff ranges going from green to yellow and then yellow to red, so let's put those in, um, green to yellow, 70, um, and yellow to red. Is 90. Um, okay, so you can see at the moment um, everything is 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 these these blue boxes on the right represent the the, the four traffic lights. So at the moment everything is green, 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 and that's because um, everything is below um, 70. Um, we have 44, 17, 58, and 22. Everything's good. Um, if I start to, uh, if anything goes oh just just over seventy between seventy and ninety, for example, the the second light is now seventy seven. For example, we come over here and this second light is seventy seven, so it's now gone um, it's now gone yellow. Um, if it goes over over ninety, uh, let's make this ninety five, and it could be anything over ninety, it could be a thousand and ninety five. Um, which now red, um, so um, incredibly simple. Um, so now we go on step two: link the text boxes um, uh, in the widget to these blue cells. Um, so we have we have a, a very simple graphic visualization um, over here, and actually, you know that you know that could that could. Um, you could use that just as it is, um, you know, within your within your within your spreadsheet, within your dashboard, or you can use it to drive these um, slightly fancier um, traffic lights over here. So let's let's do that right now. Um, now, as I've, as I've explained a number of times in the other videos, um, all of the widgets that we've that we've put together here on uh, Excel dashboard widgets. They're incredibly simple. They're just made up of um, of different Excel objects um, that are just grouped together and stacked together um, in a way that um, makes them, you know, visually very uh, very visually appealing. So um, so let's let's take a look at this traffic light and let's see what it's made up of. So um, I'm going to come across on the ribbon. Um, on the home tab across to the end where it says find and select and um, there's this binoculars pair of binoculars click on that go right to the bottom selection pane now the selection pane um, shows you all of the all of the objects well here it is it's it shapes on this sheet um, this is this is the um, I'm now selecting the, the, the main group. This is the widget with all the objects grouped together. And it's made up of quite a few different objects. So this is the, if I click this one, that's the, the title text box. Um, you have the, the four um, text boxes for the, for the four states that we have represented here. Title one, title two, 
title three. You could make these dynamic. Uh, you could link them to a cell so that they um, they, they change automatically. Um, in this case, I'm not going to do that. Then you have these these four groupings: traffic light one, traffic light two, traffic light three, traffic light four. And finally, on the back, you have this rectangle border. Um, as I've explained in previous videos, um, all of these objects on the right follow what they call a stack order. Um, so um, anything towards the top is, um, is, is projected towards you, and anything um, towards the bottom of this stack um, is, is projected behind you. Um, so what that means, for example, if I take this background rectangle, um, it's selected now, I can reorder that up, slowly moving it up, and it's actually now in front of um, in front of these two traffic lights on the right, traffic light three and traffic light four, because they're actually behind. So this is very important, not so much for this widget, but for other widgets where you have um, things like the needles and dials and um, you know just moving things backwards and forwards and um, getting things looking right. So um, okay, um, so we need to link. Let's do, let's just look at traffic light one, how it's made up. Um, so traffic light one. There's a, a green light on at the bottom. It's not on at the moment um, because um, the, the first two traffic lights are, are actually red. Um, there's, the, there's a yellow light on. There's a there's a there's a red light on, <coughs> and that's currently showing. Um, there's this thing, the shading filter. Um, you know, I can start to bring some of these. Let me just select the red light, for example. I'm going to bring the red light across over here, and then this shading filter. Oh, I've picked the wrong thing. Let's just pick that shading filter. There it is. Now, what's that shading filter doing? Um, it's basically um, you can see. Okay, if we take the second traffic light, you can see. Um, there's you can see the green and the and the yellow light are there, but they're not illuminated. Um, so basically, what I do is I, I have in the background um, these three lights that you can see: the red, the yellow, and the um, and the green, um, with a bit of shading on top. Can you see that shading? Um, which is just it just shows that's just basically just to create a static background um, color and that always that always stays there that doesn't move or change or doesn't do anything um, and then what happens is um, as the different lights come on they just basically um, light up and, 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 and glow like this one I haven't positioned that very well but um, um, so basically, the only things that we need to link uh, are the uh, 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 are the three lights: the, the the light on green, the light on yellow, the light on red, and all the all the all the rest is just um, it's just cosmetics. So let's let's do that very very quickly. Let's um, just move those back. Um, let's get, okay, let's let's link up these three. Um, these three lights for the first widget, these three lights for the second widget, these three lights for the third and the, and the fourth. Um, so let's select green light on. As you can see, this is still connected to the old um, separate unlocked um, Excel dashboard widget spreadsheet. So we don't want it connected to that. So highlight it, hit equals. Um, go to the My Calculations page. It's the first traffic light and it's the bottom one, which is the. Um, is the green one. So the yellow light, um, selecting it equals calculations page. It's this green box is not showing at the moment. Press enter. The red light equals go to the my calculations page. Hit the red light for the first traffic light. Um, press return. Let's do the same for the second traffic light. So we're doing the green equals return the yellow, highlighting the address bar, hit equals, um, it's that one, the red, uh, okay, 
a third traffic light with the green. Traffic light, the green, the yellow, and the red. And there we are. We're um, we're we're good to go. Now um, this uh, this widget is now linked. To our um, to our configuration page, so as you can see, um, these are still random values. I'm going to put in here, for example, uh, 20, 30. Um, let's put in here 75, and let's put in here um, 320. Um, and what we're expecting to see is the first traffic light will be green, the second, second traffic light will be green, the third traffic light will be yellow, and the fourth traffic light will be red. Um, we go across here, and we've got green, green, yellow, red. Um, let's. Um, so now um, it, it's everything's working perfectly. Everything's linked together. Um, now we want to change the colours. Um, so let's do that on the um, on the first traffic light. So let's just select the the green light. Um, so I've selected green light on on the selection pane. Um, the green light is selected, um, and we want that red. So um, the circular shape is um, is actually um, it's a it's a piece of circular text. Um, which is which is a wind winding shape that's a, a, a circle. Um, it's currently coloured green. Um, so if we click the font colour, just make it red. Um, it'll change it red. But you'll also see there's a bit of glow on the shape. Um, there's a bit of just to make it look like it's glowing. So if we go up above the ribbon, we click on Format. We got a text effect, which is in the Word Art styles. Um, we go down, we hit glow. I think I normally do uh, glow options. You'll see there's a bit of glow red, uh, there's a bit of green glow, and I'm just going to change that red um, and close. And there we go. The first, um, the first traffic light is 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 red. Um, so that's the that's the color when it's on. When it's off, it'll still be green behind. It'll still be this this sort of color. Um, so I need to go to the green uh, green light off. Um, go to home and then just quickly change that to um, green. I think the green I've been using is if you go to more colors, um, it's currently that green. Three, four. I actually want to change it red now. Um, so let's do that again. Just clicked red on the um, on the toolbar, and that should now be red uh, behind. Um, so let's do exactly the same for the yellow. Yellow light on. Um, we want to change that to. Um, so yellow is going to stay stay the same, isn't it? Because it's just the red and the green that have changed. So, okay, let's do the red uh, the 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 red light, and we need to turn it to green. So I've selected red light on on the selection panel on the right. I just come up now. I'm going to go more colors, and this is the this is the green color I've been using for that. It's um, from the left hand edge, the third one from the side, and then one up to OK. You can't see it because the the the, the top red light's not on at the moment. You'll see it when it comes on. So we'll we'll just check this one in a minute. Um, and again, the red light off. Um, and again, wants to be the same, the same color green. Um, I didn't do the glow for the for the um, for that light on, so let me do that as well. I'm um, going to format uh, text effects glow. 
down to the bottom glow options currently when it does come on it'll it'll come on with a red glow we want to change that to a green glow okay so now the first traffic light the colors have been reversed um, so at the moment it's showing red let's quickly go to the my configuration page to get it showing yellow needs to be a value between 70 and 90 let's put it to 80 oh, even 89 okay 80 so now it's showing yellow we come across here um, Let's change this to 80. It's got to be more than 90, so 95. So now it's showing um, green at the top and, and um, completely reversed. Um, green at the top, red at the bottom. Um, so um, there you go. We just repeat the same process for the for the next three lights. Um, I will do that very very quickly for you. Um, okay, second traffic light traffic light widget. Green light on. This wants to be red. Um, with uh, red glow, um, text effects, glow, glow options, that wants to be red, close, um, uh, red, the red light wants to be green, let's just make that green um, with a little bit, a little bit of green glow, glow, more glow options, Green glow, okay. Um, now that just swap the backgrounds, red light off wants to be um, that wants to be green. Um, green light off wants to be red. Okay, that's the second one done. Uh, the third one is exactly the same. <laughs> um, green light on. It's now going to be red. Yeah, red with red glow. Glow, glow options with red glow. Um, red light on is going to be green. Green glow. So that's reversed. Um, let's do the last one. Green light on. It's going to be red. I'm still on traffic light three, aren't I? Need to go on traffic light four. So I'll do that. Traffic light four, okay. Green light on is going to be red. With a red glow. Currently green, a little bit of red glow. Red light is now going to be green. You can see it's got a red glow on there. It wants to have green glow. Green glow. And the two background lights. This one. Green wants to go to be red. And that one. Is red and wants to be green. Uh, so there we go. Um, so the colours have been reversed, um, and um, there you have it. Um, I can change any of these values here, and it will um, it will reflect um, what the what the traffic lights are showing here. Um, which will reflect the the, the widget um, on the main dashboard page. Um, anyone, I hope that um, has been helpful. If you need, I'm, I'm aware that I go quite quickly sometimes on these um, on these video tutorials. If you need me to slow down or um, repeat anything, or if you have any other questions about any uh, any of the other widgets, um, then please uh, do. Um, send us another post on the um, on the forum. Our job is to, to, to help you understand how these work and to um, help your dashboard projects um, succeed. Uh, I'm going to just show you one other thing, just very 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 quickly. Um, you know, as I've, I've explained many times, these widgets are just groups of Excel, very simple Excel objects. Um, 
you can um, you can do many things. You're not just stuck with 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 four traffic lights. You could just have a one single traffic light on its own. Um, let me just ungroup this quickly. Um, or you could um, you know you could have a whole series of these. Um, you could uh, you know you could. You could put a whole whole series of these and, and, and link them up to more cells and um, have them all changing for all different things, for all different alerts. Um, Excel is incredibly flexible for, um, for, for, for dashboarding projects. Um, anyway, that's probably enough for, for, for this little video. So um, thank you very much and um, we look forward to hearing from you soon.